Okay, so I have all my supplies out and ready. I will admit, I don't have the greatest base coat, but we're going to go for it. It is the Sally Hansen Double Duty um, Base and Top Coat. I'm actually uh, going to take a note from Christine, the nail queen, <laughs> it's from Simply Nail Logical, and I'm going to be getting the, I guess it's called Unt or Unt, I'm not sure how to pronounce it, peel off base coat um, very soon. Like, I think I'm going to order it Friday from Amazon. Um, and since I mentioned it, I'll go ahead and place a link down below. Now, please know that all the links that I place for any of the products that I use in this video, if I use any links, they're not affiliate links. I'm not sponsored in any way. This video is not sponsored in any way. So, I purchased all this out of my own pocket and I'm doing this video without being paid. So, there's the disclaimer on that one. Okay, so I've got my base coat applied. We need to let it dry. And believe it or not, this base coat actually dries pretty quickly. So, I'll be right back with you. Okay, so I'm going to do the same thing as Kelly and start out with a white base coat. Now, I will admit the one I have isn't exactly um, a one coat wonder. But it's not really super milky either. So, it'll work for the purpose of this nail design. Because we're just using it to make these neons pop really good. So we're going to start out with a thin coat of white polish. Oops. Almost makes it seem like I've never painted my nails before. But I promise, I do it all the time. I'm just kind of shaky today. I haven't been feeling good. Um, I posted an update recently about what all has been going on, both on Twitter and kind of on here. I've actually been having a bit of a stressful week. Um, I went and visited my mom, and unfortunately that's usually pretty stressful. Um, she has a lot going on in her life. I have a lot going on in my life. And so, when we meet up, it's not, you know, always the perfect timing. And a lot of times there's just a lot of stuff going on. So, I'm just going to leave it at that. Um, and as I said with this color, it definitely isn't a favorite of mine. Um, it is the Revlon Outlast. And I'll show you in a minute. I'll actually place my nails up near the camera. It's really streaky. Um, it doesn't level itself out. Of course, part of that is my own nail, I'm guessing. Um, because of chemo, my nails... <clears throat> sorry. My nails are pretty damaged. Um, they're definitely bumpy and ridgy and... They peel away a lot. That's what... Them peeling away a lot. Is kind of what got me into doing nail art. Um, and doing my nails on a steady basis. Because it helps keep them... Protected. So... Okay. So, the first coat... The white coat is done. I have another white nail polish. Which I actually really like. But it's also not a one coater. But it doesn't tend to be as streaky as this one. But since I'm mainly looking for a um, white base, I'm going to use this one. Because it's definitely not one of my favorites. But I don't know if you can see that. It's very streaky and just not a very good nail polish, I don't think. But, like I said, maybe it's just my nails. I'll show you the other one that I like. Um... And this is the one that I'm actually going to use in the nail art portion. Okay, so we're going to let this white nail polish dry a bit. And then we're going to come back and we're actually going to be playing with a few things here. Um, but we do need to place either a latex barrier. If you're allergic to latex, there's other things you can use. Tape, um, 
PVA glue, which is just school glue, like Elmer's glue, but we'll be right back. Okay, everybody, so I'm back. Um, if you want, before you lay down your latex barrier or your PVA glue or what have you, you can clean up with a cleanup brush, but I'm not gonna worry about that right now. I'm gonna go ahead and place my barrier down um, just to protect what I can of my cuticles. But as I was saying, I mean, it's been a few uh, horrible days. Um, I haven't really uploaded. I have tried to film, um, but it seems like every time I try and film, something messes up. Um, the, the last film I did was yesterday, and uh, my camera shut off after recording about 15 minutes in, and unfortunately those 15 minutes just like took everything I had in me to do <clears throat> sorry I keep having to clear my throat um and I just wasn't feeling good so I made the executive decision not to go ahead and try and redo the video um then the one I did right before that was actually a nail video and I went to edit and found that the entire time I had been recording pretty much I was out of view of the camera and so you know that's not exactly gonna teach anyone how to do nail art that's for sure I mean you guys definitely need to see what I'm doing so I wound up deleting it and in between deleting it and yesterday's video I've actually passed out a number of times um, unfortunately I have these extreme blackout spells um, my doctors have said they're not 100% sure what's causing them um, is it the cancer that I have in my brain possibly um, I wound up having to have a heart monitor placed um, because they did find that I have AFib but after some testing and watching that monitor um, oh right now I'm placing this this barrier here is really thin and I just don't like the way it peels up so I often place a second layer because it's just too thin um, around and thicken it up a bit just so that it peels a little bit better okay but anyways as I was saying uh you know they've done quite a bit of testing they said that they don't think that every one of my blackout spells is caused by my AFib uh, so they're just not sure what they are um, but when I come to, a lot of times I have no idea who I am, where I am, and I often forget with anywhere from the last 20 to 30 minutes to the last day or so. And uh, I also have problems speaking. Um, now I did have a stroke a few years ago, and I also have multiple sclerosis, so the doctors think that maybe that has something to do with it. So anyways, we're going to let this dry for a few minutes, and I'll be right back. Okay, so on second thought, I know I had said I was going to use a yellow color, but I'm not 100% sure on that. We're actually going to test it here. I have some lids that we're going to be using for this design. Um, I also have a standard Great Value sandwich baggie. Um, and I'm actually going to cut it into a little strip here, like Kelly did, because I do find that... I'm kind of like her. I want to bounce around a bit and switch it up after a nail or so. So we're just going to use it and kind of crinkle it up. Okay. Now, for this first look, I'm going to see what I think of these three colors together. So I'm going to be using um, Pure Ice in color Showstopper. I'm going to be using... Salon Perfect in Loopy Lime. I'm going to use Salon Perfect in Traffic Cone. And of course, I need just a touch of white, so I'm going to be using my Bows Before Bros by, um, I guess it's Onyx, O N Y X Professionals. And the color is Take a Hint. Okay, so let me get these shook up and open here. 
um, with the barrier that I used, you'll, if you are looking for it, it's, uh, by Pween. And, uh, as you use it, it goes on really, really light. And then it turns a dark pink when it's dry. So, you'll know. And it actually dries fairly quickly. I would have, I was just trying to get everything together. So, it took me a little bit. Um, of course, you guys have no idea how long it took. <clears throat> <clears throat> Sorry again about the throat clearing. My goodness. I think it's just my allergies. We're up in Chicago right now in the truck. And it's been really, really windy. And for some reason, I'm just struggling with like this tickle in my throat today. Okay. So, what we're going to do is we're just going to place a couple dots. It doesn't matter the order. Um, be messy. Be clean. It doesn't really matter. I'm just going to place a few dots of each color on my lid here. Just kind of place them randomly around. Overlap them a bit. Um, and then I'm going to add the white like Kelly did just to kind of make it pop a little bit more. I actually really like that yellow so we're gonna go for it I mean and you know what just just for the sake of it even though I really like it with just those colors I'm gonna go ahead and add the pink it's uh, also salon perfect and it is back to fuchsia so we're gonna add the hot pink as well just because you know what why not why not be a little extra today never hurts to be a little extra I don't think and then uh as I was saying though so it's been a long week especially of not feeling good and all that but uh I must apologize I probably did not look the greatest in my intro video I just haven't been feeling good so unfortunately my makeup is not done okay so we're gonna get back to the nail vid here and quit talking about me um, we're going to take the baggie and just kind of scrunch it up a bit. And we're going to take it and dip it into those colors. Isn't that pretty? And then what we're going to do is just kind of dab it on the nail. Now, it is messy. Please understand that from the get-go. Oh, but look at this. Isn't that just gorgeous? So, I want to get the sides. So, we're going to go to the next nail here. We're just going to dab it on so pretty um I'm gonna go ahead and get another couple dots onto my lid here because that nail is starting to look a little mucky a little muddy I'm just add this do the same thing just kind of add them randomly I guess I twisted that lid on. Didn't even realize. I really love this uh, pink color. I've done my nails by themselves with it a couple times. And I just really like the way it looks. So now that white again to make it pop a little bit. grab our baggie what I'm gonna do is actually I'm gonna flip it inside out now and just kind of scrunch it up this way and have a clean surface here I'm just gonna dip it into the color again and place it on my nail hmm. 
There we go. Again, just dip it into the color and place it on the nail. You can move it around a little, especially if you're noticing that you're not quite getting the colors that you want. But by using the baggie, it definitely gives it like almost like a water marble technique coloring which I really like but that's it right there simple um, so then what we need to do is just give it a minute to dry I'm gonna close up my polishes here while my nails dry a bit and we're gonna see how much cleanup I have to do hopefully hopefully not too much I do have my cleanup brush and I have my acetone well I don't even know if my nail polish is acetone to be honest um, We'll see in a minute. But. Okay. It's um, Q-Tex Care Nourishing Nail Polish Remover. I just really like it. Still has the Big Lot sticker on it, but that's okay. And I have my little cleanup brush here, so. Okay, so let's remove this barrier off each nail or off each finger here looks like I have a little cleanup around my cuticles but it's not too horrible say not too shabby so we're gonna get these cleaned up real quick um, I just use a little bit of it in the lid Set that aside there. And then I dip my uh, cleanup brush into the nail polish remover and I just kind of go along edging being gentle and careful not to uh, get it on the nail itself because oh, we don't want to mess up the work that we just did. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Okay. So we're just going to finish cleaning these up here. And that's it. Okay. So the next step is to use a top coat. Now, at this time, this is actually my favorite. It's the Pro FX Quick Dry High Gloss Top Coat. Um, and I get the salon size uh, number. I don't know if it's 066 or. 990 I think it's 066 based on you know the barcode but we're gonna place a nice generous layer of that and since I didn't cap off 
the top of my nail. When I do the top coat, that's when I'm going to cap it. So, I'm just going to place a healthy layer of top coat. And I'm going to swipe it across the tip of my nail. That's going to help my manicure last quite a bit longer. And nobody wants their manicures, you know, to mess up really fast after you've done it. So, And I will say, uh, this Salon Perfect um, Neon, they dry so quickly. Um, but they also dry matte. Uh, so you can leave them matte. Like, this one's matte, which I like. But, to be honest, for this look, I just want them glossy. And that's it. That's the finished product um, we just have to wait on them to dry but I don't know we'll see what do you guys think I love it um, I just want to go tell Kelly uh, thank you for teaching me such a beautiful nail art design um, and even with it being neons they're still just so gorgeous uh, I just, I don't know. What do you guys think? Uh, just, you know, let me know in the comments below. So I look forward to seeing you on my next video and thank you all so much for coming today and watching me paint my nails. Bye.